gratitude to the organization for this award. And I felt that um, John did that. He was, he was clearly pleased to receive it. And he recognized and thanked the organization. And he expressed a dream for all Asian, all Asian Americans, which I thought was very effective because it would embrace everybody in the organization. Uh, one thing I was looking for was how was his sincerity coming through? And I felt that it was coming through your excellent eye contact, for one thing, and just a very nice way of moving across the room. And your pacing was really excellent. I felt like you wanted to make sure that we were with you, understanding the, the dream, Joy's dream and, and all of this meant to you. And you also often lean forward a bit when you're speaking, which I felt kind of threw us toward you. Um, one thing I was to look for was if there was anything that would change. And it's interesting because this is a speech that you really are going to give. And you have time to think about how you want to do it. But I noticed that you grasp the podium a lot. And when you get there, they, they might not have a podium that you could grasp. They might have some other kind of arrangement. So you might think where you could put in some, some more gestures to get in some more uh, movement. Like, for instance, there was a place you talked about the, at the festival, like the Asian Americans, like out front and behind, you could like, add some kind of gesture like that, or you talk about like all Asian Americans. We can think about where you might add a little punctuation, which will make it a little more dynamic. And even if they do have a podium, they'd probably be less likely to, to gravitate to it. And you might consider making a, a clearer connection early on to Joy's dream, because I wasn't sure if the dream affected, if it led up to the activities that you resulted in your award, or if it was kind of just a dream for all Asian Americans. And there may be that people in this organization know her and would know what that's about, and I just don't know the backstory, but I just wasn't quite sure what to take, what specifically to take away from the story and the setting that you were telling it in, with the connection with, with your people. So I wanted to mention again how I appreciated that you didn't rush through this. And if you go back to your my final note about your pacing, I really think that's something that you, you bring as you're up here. You, you command the whole area. 